The Canadian federal government, they got a lot of telephones. I don't know why. You can never get anybody on the phone when you call them anyway. It either rings busy or nobody picks up. But here's some numbers for you. Two million dollars of late fees per year. That's what they pay on their telephones. And 259,258 landlines are in 42 federal departments. That's a lot of darn telephones, don't you know? I mean, use email, do something else in any event. Those phones, those landlines cost $132 million a year each and every year. $507 is the approximate cost per line in all those government buildings. And we all know there's a lot more than 42 federal offices, right? This is just a breakdown for that particular sector or section. I should say $44.5 million is the cost for mobile phones in Canada. And again, you can't ever reach anybody anyway, but that's what they pay. And there's 163,000 mobile devices out of those 42 departments alone. So how many really are there? And there's probably a half a million or more phones that the government pays for and again nobody knows what they're talking about anyway in San Francisco there's a former state senator there his name is Leland Yee and he now has pleaded guilty to a deal and he says I'm guilty I did it and I'm now going to get 20 years in prison and a quarter of a million dollar fine he's an interesting kind of cat he's against guns nobody should have a gun except a bad guy and he's gone to great lengths to uh, talk badly about the NRA and honest people who have firearms and guess what he was picked up for gun running this is a couple of years ago in 2014 it started that's what he was charged he was actually under surveillance for a couple of years prior to that and he was charged for corruption conspiracy to traffic weapons to deal in and import firearms he was bringing guns from other countries selling them to bad guys and then he would go in front of um, judges and politicians and say let's take all the guns away from the good guys because I'm a Democrat and I don't like guns at all and yet he kept bringing them in and putting them in the hands of the other guys. What kind of a guy is that? Not a very nice guy, is he? Gay couples now in the new federal law. Liberal gays are loud with praise to uh, say, isn't this great that we now can live wherever we want? And one of the things that the judges looked at in terms of uh, you know passing the law was is that often gay people got married in one state that allowed it and then they moved by transfer of their job or whatever. They were moved to another state that didn't allow it and they said we must make it easier for them and that was part and parcel of the decision which kind of opens up a door with regard to so many other things polygamy but that's another story but, but also with guns because right now if you have a gun license a concealed license in one state you drive over the state line into another state and technically you're a criminal now not always there are reciprocatory laws but it should be federal and there are many now that are saying hey i'm in favor of this new gay law because it's going to help me because i'm a straight gun owner hey it would be interesting to see where that goes canada health care so many americans say the canadian system is great Y'all get free health care up there. Firstly, there ain't nothing free, right? In Canada, and so many people don't understand this, particularly in the States, the governments can't manage anything. They're pretty useless, right? And you, they take away your choice, and the Canadian health care system does that. You have no choice. You go with that one, or you just don't go with anything. You're forced by law to do that. They can even charge and sue and and put you in jail for, for not doing what they say, because that's the socialist system. Now the system costs Canadians about $6,000 a year per citizen, so for the average family, the health care tax burden is upwards to $24,000, right? And what do you get for 24 grand? You get to stand in line for a couple of years, particularly if you're old. You can be 80 years old, go to a doctor, and he says, come back in two years, we'll give you a CAT scan. What are the chances? I mean, come on already, maybe deal with the issue right now. I mean, the system consistently underperforms, and Canada is ranked at the bottom third of countries for safe care, effective care, and coordinated care and patient-centered care. In other words, it has failed. Why? I know, I know. Go into the offices and see who's in charge of this. You need to treat it like a business, and they ain't good business people. It needs to go back to free enterprise, private enterprise, and then it will work. So many people in Canada go south to get fixed. All of the political leaders, all of them, have had serious, or when they've had serious health issues, they've all gone to America. That was before Obamacare, so now that's getting screwed up as well. Over the past 15 years, communist Democrats, oh, oh but I repeat myself in the US of A, Democrats have moved even further left than what they were before. In 2001, 30% of Democrats were identified as being liberal, and now that's upwards to 50%, and is getting more and more over there all of the time. That's kind of 
have a disease that's moving over there. Hey, gun registration laws don't work. It's been proven not to work, but a lot of states and other people, all of those liberals again say, let's try it again. I think Einstein had something to say about that. In any event, New York, they brought in the gun registration for a particular semi-automatic firearm rifle. And there's an estimated 1.2 million guns that would fall into that category to be registered. And the governor under, you know, a great cloud of anger <laughs> from all of the right-wing people, sane-minded people, he brought it in anyway. He made it a law. Guess how many people have registered? Less than 4%. That's a grand total of 44,485 guns under this law. And uh, 23,000 people have done the registration out of a million too. It don't work. A lot of these people did it under duress, right? I mean, it just doesn't work. Go after the bad guys. Leave the good guys alone. And you all come back here tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.